Hi, and welcome to your Humber News Update. I'm Chantilly Post, coming to you from our newsroom here at Humber College North Campus. Here's what we're working on at this hour. Investigators have found the two black boxes from the German Wings flight that crashed into the Alps yesterday. They're hoping they explain what went wrong with the plane and what pilots were saying before it went down. All 150 people on board died. Both the data recorder and the voice recorder were recovered in the debris from the crash. Investigators say it'll probably take a couple of days to retrieve information from the recorders. Meanwhile, leaders of Germany, France and Spain were at the scene today to meet rescue workers and bereaved families. The plane crashed in a remote area in the French Alps. Reports say the plane took eight minutes to descend. Investigators say there are no signs of foul play. More than 400 women and children have been reportedly taken captive by Boko Haram in Nigeria. The revelations come after forces from Niger and Chad flee to town under the control of Boko Haram. Local residents told the soldiers that the militant group abducted the children when they fled the town. There has been no official confirmation of the number of people taken, but Boko Haram has been known to carry out mass kidnappings in the past. Their abduction of almost 300 schoolgirls last April drew international attention and outrage. Troops say they also found at least 70 bodies in an apparent execution site under a bridge leading out of the town. Boko Haram has pledged its, pledged its allegiance to the militant group ISIS. Dramatic video today of a daring rescue in the Gulf of Mexico. U.S. Coast Guard answered an emergency alert yesterday from a stranded boat off Freeport, Texas. Coast Guard air crew was launched and arrived shortly after. That's when they saw four people stranded on a boat. All four were rescued without any injuries. In the world of sports, two Canadian teams hit the ice last night and the Raptors lose to the Pistons by a tiny margin. Turning to weather, we might get some rain this afternoon and freezing rain tonight, and we'll reach a high of 9 today. We'll have these de details of all these stories and more coming up on our 2 o'clock news, but for now, we leave you with this. Things have been going swimly for a newborn hippo. The baby was born early Monday morning at the San Diego Zoo. Animal keepers are watching the newborn and its mom, who appears to be nursing and doing well. The zoo is keeping dad in the separate area for the time being, leaving mom and baby some precious bonding time. The sex of the baby hippo has yet to be determined. That's your 12 o'clock update. We'll be back with more Humber News at 2.